one who has the longest arm will be the first one to follow me. So Aisha radiallahu anha says, when the Prophet passed away, Kunna idajtama'na fi bayti ihdana ba'da wafati Rasulullahi sallallahu alayhi wasallam that when the wives of the Prophet sallallahu used to gather in one of our homes, every single time, namuddu aydiyana fil jidari natatawal. We would start to measure our arms. Physically, they'd take out their arms and they'd start to measure who has the longest arm. And that's out of their anticipation. They're wanting to die to be with the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. That's the mindset. Think about what an incredible person the Prophet was, that that's the effect that he left on these people, that they're literally measuring their arms, saying which one of us has the longest arm that we can go and join the Prophet first. Zainab anha was not young, right? She was already married twice. She's in her late 30s when she marries the Prophet So she's not a young woman, especially in that society. But Saud anha's 60s, right? Going into her 70s. And her arm was longest. So we thought, well, I guess that means Sauda is going to be the first one to die until Zainab radiallahu ta'ala anha passed away and we realized what the Prophet sallallahu meant when he said, atwalakunna yadan, the longest arm is the one who gives the most sadaqah. And Zainab was the most charitable of all the wives of the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam.